Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. So the hottest day of the summer, we went out fishing just for a little bit, just before we were gonna come back to camp empty-handed, we did catch a small pike. Now, small pike, badly hooked, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna cook them. So I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ways to clean a pike and avoid that Y bone. There's lots of ways to clean a pike and avoid that Y bone. Some of them are a little bit complicated. This one is very easy. So a little background on this technique. It was taught to me by a friend who lived in Northern Ontario. He was an avid outdoorsman, hunted and fished. He had a lot of native friends. And the story is a native showed him how to do this. He was told this is how they do it. Now I'm not confirming or denying this, but people in the area where he lived did clean pike like this, particularly smaller ones. It works really best with smaller ones and involves scaling the fish first. So let's get started. So like I said, not a big fish, about 20 inches, but a good eater. Step one is to scale the fish. Because we're gonna leave the skin on this fish. And I know that sounds terrible because pike are slimy. But honestly, once you get rid of the scales, wash it off, the slime goes away. And actually the skin of a pike is not very thick, pretty tender, so you can choose to eat it or not. But for this technique, you do have to leave the skin on. And we'll just scale this side now. Maybe I'll try and lock that in. You can use a knife to scale, but I find these scalers work excellent. They're very cheap. Good thing to keep in the old tackle box. So let me just rinse this fish off, get all the scales gone, and we'll fillet. Okay, so now we just take a regular fillet. Any knife will do. I've had this one for over 35 years. My wife thinks 38 years I've had this knife. The sheath is held together with duct tape but it still works just fine. Good old Rapala fillet knife. So you want to come along the back of this fish. Make a cut along the spine. Just like that. Find the spine, find the belly. It's hard for me to do this. I'm standing way offside here. But there's the spine. Rib cage. Now you can you hear that? That's the Y bone. Crunching. We're crunching through the Y bone. So as we fillet this fish, we're going to be leaving the Y bones inside the fillet. And you got to watch this whole video guys because it's going to blow your mind. I've searched and searched on the internet and I've never seen anybody fillet a pike like this before. I didn't invent it. It was taught to me by a friend. It was taught to him by another friend. Like I tell you, it works. So that's actually a nice fillet. There's a lot of meat on a pike. And as you run your hand across, you can feel the Y bones, but that's okay. We're going to get rid of those. Flip this fish over. Let's do the other side. Will that work? There we go. Find the spine. Work across. Don't throw these small pike away. They are some of the best eating. And actually, I've fed pike to people who said they would never eat a pike. They only eat pickerel. And they don't know the difference. I've done blind tests with people where I feed them pickerel and I feed them pike. Ask them which one they like better. A lot of the times they'll pick the pike. Not kidding. 
pike is a very good eating fish. Nice firm flesh, very neutral taste. You just want to deal with those Y bones. And we're going to deal with those Y bones. So there we go, two nice fillets. Enough for two people, we'll cut them in half. Nice little fish dinner. I'm going to clean these off in the lake, show you the final step. So nice clean fillet, and the Y bone only comes from the front of the fish till about here. Beyond that, it's nice boneless fillet. You can eat that just like a chicken finger, no problem. But of course, the Y bones are here, you can see them. And what we're going to do is mind blowing. We're going to cut the flesh down to the skin. That's why we had to leave the flesh on, the skin on. You hear me breaking through the Y bone? Hear that? Crunch. I'm cutting right through the Y bone. You want to cut down to the skin, but not through it, because you need to hold everything together. You can see the Y bones, but I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to batter, and shallow fry these pike in good old fish crisp. Okay, there we go. And this is what you end up with. Kind of like an accordion. See that? It looks kind of strange, but it is a beautiful thing. Same thing to the other fish. Filet. You have to make these cuts fairly close, like quarter inch or so, maybe three eighths of an inch. And this definitely works better with a smaller fish like this one, where the bones are smaller. What happens when you cook the fish, because we've cut them in half like that, and we've basically destroyed that Y bone, when it hits the hot oil, the bone just melts away to nothing. It's not even there. Oil's ready to go. These aren't very big fillets, so won't take long. Notice how those little ridges capture all the coating. Gonna be delish. Oh yeah. That's working out just fine. Nice. Yeah, so I think it's important to fry these fillets in oil when you're using this technique to properly soften the bone. I don't think if you just cook them in butter or something that takes less heat, it would work. But the hot oil disintegrates that Y bone, makes for a tasty fillet. This one here is looking done. They're all looking good, actually. All right, these are looking fantastic. Wouldn't want one of those. That one little fish, I think, could feed three people. It's going to be a feast for two, that's for sure. That, my friends, is the Great Canadian Shore Lunch. So, is this pike fillet boneless? I'll let you know. Oh, that's good. That's delicious. Bone free, my friends. Bone free. Mm. Definitely worth a try. So the weather's been great. Hottest day of the year. I brought my Vivor 12 volt fridge. 
I brought a battery pack and I brought a 200 watt solar panel so I've been able to keep fish cold and my meat frozen. It's really great if you're boat camping like we are you're able to bring a little bit of extra stuff. It's well worth it. You don't have to worry about a cooler and ice. That fish is amazing. Thanks very much for watching my friends. I really do appreciate it when you stop by, spend a little bit of time with me. What's your favorite fish? What's your favorite way to cook it up? Have you ever tried this technique? Have you ever seen it before? Let me know in the comments down below. Take care everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Time for me to enjoy the rest of this pike. Mmm.